always been heroic figures, almost superheroes. There's a feel, a buzz in a big heavyweight championship fight that is unique across all sports. And there's certainly a unique feel to this fight as well. We have the two tallest men, the biggest men in the heavyweight division, six foot nine and six foot seven. Two huge figures, both literally and figuratively. Deontay Wilder, 40 fights, 39 KOs, most in devastating fashion. One of the hardest punchers, not just in boxing today, but in modern box boxing history. In Tyson Fury, we certainly have a unique skill set. You do not see athletes who are six foot nine who move the way Tyson Fury moves. He has a unique set of skills with athleticism. Outside of the NBA, there's not another more athletic six foot nine athlete on the planet. It's a fascinating clash of personalities, a fascinating clash of styles, and we're happy to be bringing it to you on Showtime pay-per-view. And of course, it wouldn't be a big pay-per-view fight without the Emmy Award winning All Access. We've already begun filming with both fighters. Episode one of All Access will premiere on November 17th, followed by episode two on November 24th, and daily episodes during fight week. We'll see you there at Staples on December 1. Um, I do want to acknowledge a few people, uh, the great Frank Warren, and Queensberry Promotions. Um, on this event, uh, Bomb Squad Enterprises, Deontay's new company, is involved in the promotion. I All want right. to acknowledge TGB Promotions, Deontay's management, Shelly Finkel and Al Heyman, um, and attorney Robert Davis, who had a lot to do with getting this papered and done so quickly. Um, and by the way, this was done pretty quickly, and it was done without name calling or social media or months and months of wasted time and energy. It was done as two, as these two giants said they wanted to fight. Because they're real men. Two big men, huge yeah. men. Two huge personalities, one great fight. That's what it's all about. My pleasure to bring up one of the voices of Showtime Sports, Brian Custer, who's going to take it from here. <laughs> Lou, thank you. Let's hear from the fighters. As Jimmy pointed out, December 1st, Los Angeles Staples Center hosts really one of the biggest heavyweight fights that we've seen probably in nearly two decades. Remember when Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson fought in 2002 in Memphis? Now we got the WBC champion, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, 40 and 0, 39 knockouts. He's knocked out every opponent he's faced including all seven of his title defenses. And then the lineal champion, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, 27 and 0, 19 knockouts, two giants of the sport. Deontay, let's start with you. What do you think this fight means to the heavyweight division, to your legacy, and to this sport? It means everything to the division. You know, the division was once in a, in a dark place. You know, a lot of people consider the division boring, you know, not entertaining, you know, not enough <clears throat> great fighters. You know, people always look back on the past and like, what a golden days is, where have it gone, you know, and now today's era is different. Because we have me, we have this guy to my right, Tyson Fury, big, big, they got big personalities. You know, we coming in and carrying the sport. We done brought the sport back, back to life in the heavyweight division. Facts. And we all know with me, it comes powers, come knockouts. And that's what I do. I get y'all guys motivated. I get y'all guys inspired to come and see a heavyweight fight. And the main things you guys want to see in a heavyweight fight is a knockout. Yeah. And I deliver that each and every time. And this time as well too, like I said before, when I say I promise, I promise you, I'm gonna knock out the Gypsy King as well too. Timber! <laughs> Tyson. Oh, no squad. You went away for a couple of years. You've had a couple of comeback fights. And yet you say you're not only going to win, you say you're gonna knock out Deontay Wilder. Woo. Explain to the people why you are so confident in this fight. 
First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for turning up today. Yeah! Thank yeah. you yeah. day in New York City. Second of all, I'd like to say even Deontay Wilder knows to sit down in the presence of greatness. Yeah. He even knows that. And why am I going to beat this bum? It's because he can't box, that's why. He's a big swinger. Okay, he's knocked a few bums out, but really he's got 40 fights. 35 of them have been against total tomato cans who can't fight back. So really, he's only had five fights. So if he thinks a five-fight novice is going to land one of them big swinging windmills on my chin, then he can think again. After he feels a bit of power and a few stiff jabs in the face, his ass is going to fall out. This is what's going to happen, yeah? <laughs> and then round about round five or six, I'm going to start landing the overhand right coming downstairs, left up, up to the body. And then round about eight, nine, ten, championship round, welcome to my world. He's only been 12 rounds once, once in his career. I've been 12 rounds championship distance many, many, many times. Very experienced, come back against all odds. I'm here today, I've beat so many, many problems. How am I gonna let this little skinny spaghetti hoop man beat me? <laughs> How am I gonna do that? They don't call me the Gypsy King for nothing. I didn't come to New York and Los Angeles and all these press conferences to be embarrassed. By this little skinny runt. <laughs> I'm gonna knock it spark, spark out. And when he's on the floor, I'm gonna look over him and I'm gonna say, You got knocked the fuck out, man! <laughs> Deontay. Last hour beating. <laughs> Two years ago, you knocked out Artur Spilka right here in New York City. Tyson Fury got right in that ring. He challenged you. And he now says, you only took this challenge because you think he's done. Is he right? He's, he's completely wrong. I don't want to brought him back. I don't want to encourage him when he was in a dark place to come back. Get in shape. You can do it. I dare you. I dare him to come back for this very moment. You know, I don't.